This is a brand new game called Outer Space Shack, a solo developer project that explores the scenario where humankind continued the space race after the 1960s and developed a permanent base on the moon. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Outer Space Shack. Let's just dive right into it. We're gonna uh, create a new game, we're gonna name our character. Um, it can only be one thing. How about a corner? Because everything's gonna go up in smoke. Okay, we have an era we can play in, so we can either play, as I said in the intro, we can either play in, in the Apollo era, but it seems that he's always also added um, a more modern version of it. I expect more modern rockets and stuff like that. I think I want to try to play, I really like that idea of playing, like continuing um, after the Apollo era and continuing that, that timeline, if you will. Difficulty, we can play as the Cold War US, 21st century uh, China, Silicon Valley Dreamer, <laughs> AKA SpaceX, but legal reasons, <laughs> Russia, um, Europe with or without something that's been cropped off is very hard. Let's just go with like very easy that is default settings to start with. And we have the option to either play on the moon or Mars. So, okay, we have the main menu. I like the 14 by three aspect ratio. I'm pretty sure this is a, a artistic choice because we are playing in, in, in the 1960s where like video format was just dominated by this 40, I'm 14 by three aspect ratio because I have set the settings and all the menus were then 16 by nine. Okay, we're gonna go to HQ. There's HQ. Okay, what do we have in HQ? We have Land Surveyor Probe or, or 2 billion and 18 months loan. <laughs> what? A loan with 10% interest rate. Your bank is quite afraid of your big expensive stick. <laughs> okay, let's just go check engineering. I like the I like the style that he like kept it like in the era, right? Oh, that was wrong. Was clearly something here wasn't like a hundred percent finished. Like it's not a unfinished mission. The minions, I should say, it's currently in a public playtest. It's not a finished game. It's still under development. As I said in the beginning, it's a solo solo project. Um, rockets. We can have what looks like a Saturn rocket, and then we have the <laughs> the spaceship. Or oh, well, yeah, we, we can we can see what this is supposed to be. Oh my gosh. Oh, you have different timelines here. Okay, we have a tight. Okay, we have different options for rockets, and we clearly haven't researched them, and we're not crew certified for for some of them yet. So we need to do some engineering for that. Um, but we have. Oh, come on. Nope. That one, uh, which is like an early 1960s, and it's good enough for like sending small probes, um, and it's relatively cheap. So let's go buy that. So we have astronauts, stuff, and consumables. We have no payloads. Uh, how do you payload? Oh, okay, okay. We probably need to add a small freight compartment. Maybe we need to research that first. And that takes four months, apparently. Okay, I'm not sure I figure out how we need to research the probe of it's just there. Let's just go launch it and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Please don't blow up. La trajectoire est nominale. We're launching from somewhere in France, clearly. Or at least the flight controller is France. Or French, sorry. Ooh, okay, okay. We have the moon. Now quickly press, bring me the... No, no, no. Okay, we are on the moon. Um Mission completed. Okay, it seems it did its thing. Can we go lift off? What happens then? Or EVA? I don't think that thing can lift off again. <laughs> I feel like that's a a static thing. Land a man on the moon, yeah. Deploy a science experiments package with a data transmission and a nuclear power source and plant a flag on top of a hill more than 50 meters um, to have a nice picture. Uh, we can basically go and do all these missions, I think, in one go. So we probably need to head to uh, 
warehouse. Okay, after a bit more research, I now got the Kronos Penta, aka the Saturn V, um, which should be crew rated, I think. So if we go and buy that, <laughs> I love these character descriptions. A brilliant mechanical engineer who's also a trained helicopter pilot, always hungry. <laughs> okay, we're gonna send. We're gonna send Lily, who is an IT and electronics equipment specialist. And we're gonna send Charlotte, who was the mechanic. Apollo science package and flag on a hill. Oh, you can change with the scroll wheel. It's probably this one. Apollo experiments. Let's buy that. And flag on a hill is likely one. The, this one. Yeah, yeah, okay. Everything is ready for your historic nice. Okay, got it. Let's launch the rocket. The, <laughs> the camera track is a little bit off. <laughs> it's not actually centered on the rocket, but okay. Wait, we can fast forward. And then we can go bring me there so we can go straight through the landing site. Okay, so... Um, auto EVA. Okay, we can take this Apollo equipment. It's just nice that they brought traffic cones. And then we need to put like a flag on a hill. There's a hill here. Can we put flag there? Okay, then what? Oh, there we go. Where are you going? You need to go and do the thing. If we fast forward time, can we... Can you do the thing? How do you how do I make them do the thing? Oh, there we go. Like she's setting off science equipment with a shovel. <laughs> oh, he okay, just double click on them and then they go out and they do their thing. Flag has been planted. Nope, flag has not been planted. Nope, okay, flag has been somewhat planted. Okay, so we installed, we sent someone, so that was the three missions, I think. Like, we send a man on the moon, we plant the flag, we installed science equipment. So I guess we can go and lift off now. Whee! Okay, back home we go. Deploy a landing buoy and to ensure that all landers arriving at the same place. Ensure one kilowatt of power um, during the whole lunar cycle. Okay, so we need to install some power plants. And ensure a 5 kilowatt of peak power. So that means we need to go... Hold on, let's just go and check uh, warehouse. Hold on. Power. Or oh, a 3 kilowatt nuclear reactor. That's 400 kilograms. That would give us... Because that means we need to put that up. And then we need to put like a bunch of solar panels up. If we want to have that peak during the, during the daytime. Oh, but it's light, basically. But while this is expensive, we could all just put up two nuclear reactors and done. Then we have six kilowatts of continuous power um, on the moon. That seems a lot. How, how light is the solar panels? 90. Hold on, I need the calculator here. So here we get 750 watts per... For, for 90 kilograms. That is 8... 0.333 watt per kilogram whereas if we go with the that one we get three kilowatts for 400 that's seven and a half so weight weight per kilowatt the solar panels are um are more efficient cost wise these are a lot more cost efficient so the solar panels are more cost efficient so ideally what we should do is probably set up a single nuclear reactor and then for the last, then it's basically set up, uh, how many do we need then? Four of these solar panels. How much, now we need to plan this ahead. How much, like, uh, how much weight are we going to need for this? Okay, so I'm going to need just over one ton of lifting power. Um... How much can our rockets handle right now? 
<laughs> we are way off. I'm gonna need a bunch of rockets. Oh, that one can almost carry it. Oh, hold on. Can we go do some research with this thing, maybe? And can we make this the end one? No, there's no research for the end one. The end one can almost carry it. Oh, that's annoying. We are so close. So the total, to complete all these missions, the total mass we need is 1,010. But this one can carry just 1,000 and we can't. Damn it. A small amount of research later, and uh, apparently you can make this thing carry a lot. Now we can can make this rocket carry 14 tons of... of, of we have enough now. Okay, after a bit more, we managed to get all our solar panels up, we get our nuclear reactor up, and we got uh, the landing thing. So we can send... We can send that one. We said just a solo astronaut up, so we're gonna... Send her back to Earth. And... Let's jump back to Earth ourselves. So the missions just now, they continue. You can see now we can install our first airlocks. We can begin to um, uh, to have people like stay for extended periods. And we can keep building out our Luna base with all the different equipments and, 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 and all that stuff. So if you're interested in trying out this yourself, build your own moon base and uh, explore this, like alternate history scenario or play one of the other scenarios that the game has to offer on Mars or whatever, then go check it out. Out of Space Shack, it is on Steam right now where there is a, I believe there's a limited time playtest. So you can go, you can play for it, play around with it for a bit. Um, go check it out. I'll make sure to post a link for it in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little showcase. And until next time, I'll see you guys in space.